Hi, boys and girls. Well, today we're going to read about wheels and axles. Remember how we read the book about how the first planes looked and the first cars looked? And we talked about how people used to get from here to there and there to here. And our feet were the ones that took us everywhere. And then we finally mastered being able to ride horses. And horses helped become a form of transportation because they took us places. And then there was this marvelous invention of the wheel and axle. And that really changed how we went from place to place. So let's take a look at this wonderful invention of the wheel and axle and just all the many jobs it actually does. Wheels and axles. And this one is written by, oh, just Acorn. Let's have a look inside. There we go. Sean Smith. Wheels and axles. Table of contents. And this one relates to a lot of toys that we have. How do I know? Different toys is in my table of contents. So there's probably going to be a lot of toys in this book. Let's take a look. Different toys toys. There are many different kinds of toys. Toys work in different ways. Hmm. So we know that we've got electronic toys. We've got force and motion toys where we push and pull. We've got stuffed toys, which we know are a soft solid. And we've got marbles, which we also need to push with our thumbs. We'll pull as we grab them off the um, playing field. Toys work in different ways. Some toys move on wheels. And look, we've got that label that we're talking about. We use that a lot in non-fiction text so we know what the text is about. A go-kart moves on wheels. So there's our wheels. But a wheel can't turn if it doesn't have an axle. Toys move when they are pushed or pulled. Toys with wheels are easier to move. Like this one here. Hmm, it doesn't have wheels. So definitely you're going to need a pulling action there to make that one go. But this one with wheels will roll so much easier. Toy wheels can be made of metal or of plastic. Ooh, this one looks like an older toy, and this one looks like a now toy. Metal, plastic. Toy wheels can be made of wood or of rubber. W wood, rubber. Axles. An axle is like a rod. Axle. And here's the axle that holds those two wheels and allows them to spin. Oh, here's another axle. Some axles stay still. Wheels move around the axle. And some don't. Some are attached to the wheels and spin with the wheels. Some wheels are stuck on axles. Here's another axle right on this one here. And this one we can clearly see that when I push on the pedals, it turns the axle, which turns the wheels. When the axle moves, the wheels move too. So he's pushing on those pedals, which is causing the axle to spin, which makes the wheels turn, which makes the vehicle go. Moving toys. Electricity can make some things move. Electricity makes the wheels on this race car move.
water makes some toy wheels move. So here we've got a water wheel. The force of the water pushes this and causes it to turn, the wheel to turn, which then makes the axle turn. Pushes from people can make some toy wheels move. A merry-go-round is a wheel you can push. And it has a singular axle as it goes round. Roller skates have wheels you can push. Remember, you have to push on your feet to make your roller skates or roller blades go. Which one of these toys is missing its wheels? Hmm, which one do you think it is? A, B, C, or D? Which one of these is missing its wheels? I agree with you. I agree. D doesn't have its wheels or the axles that hold the wheels on. Hmm. So that's wheels and axles. Take a look around. See how many wheels and axles you can find on your toys and on your house. And then scroll on down and see what your assignment is for today.